What's good, everybody? It's your boy JD back with another NBA 2K24 build. And man, I've been having a lot of fun on some of the, these builds that we've made recently, and I think this one will be no different. I was thinking to myself, you know, I really don't have a build that's just like one of those ignorant, up in your face, get some clips type of a builds, but I definitely think I found one here. And I have not upgraded it yet. If you want to see me upgrade this build, let's see if we can get this video to 20 likes. That would help me out a lot. We'll try to get some clips. We'll definitely have some fun in the wreck on the 1v1, you know, different things like that. It's that time of year, you know, like I said in one of my previous videos where, you know, if you're not playing competitive pro-am and you have the VC or, you know, you're thinking of making a new build, you know, make something fun that you can, you know, just get on and refresh yourself a little bit when you get on the game, when you have that extra time or whatever. But I definitely think this is going to be one of those builds. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. We just hit 3,000 subscribers on the channel, so I appreciate you guys for that. But without further ado, let's head over to the Builder. I'm going to show you this Vinsanity build. Let's go. All right, so here we are over in the Builder. We're going to put together this Vince Carter build. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a Create Your Own. I'm going to go Vince Carter, right-handed, personal preference for me. Uh, if you like shooting left-handed or whatever, feel free to do that. I'm going to go jersey number 15, just like Vince. And now for this build, I'm going to go with the small forward position. Um, you can go shooting guard with it if you want it as well. Uh, the build's going to be a little bit lighter on the defensive side, so I just didn't want to get matched up against any like you know, crazy shooters or whatever. So we'll take our chances. I think I'm, the small forward position suits it best anyway for this, uh, for this type of a build. But we're going to go small forward. We're going to go 6'8". We're going to take the weight down to 191 and we're going to take the wingspan out to 7.3. That'll be enough to get a 74 strength. Um, that'll be nice to have. You'll get bulldozer on this badge too. So small forward 6.8, 191. Wingspan is going to be 7.3. And as you guys know on all my builds, I like to start down here on the physicals. Again, I say this in all my videos, but you know it's, they're tied into so many of the different badges and everything like that. I think it just makes sense to start down here. Now, because we're going to go 99 on our driving dunk, we are going to be limited a little bit on some of our attributes. And just based on some of the other builds and stuff that I have, I feel like speed and acceleration, if you're not going to be like an on-ball lock or you know maybe even a center type of a build, it's not like super important. You definitely want to have some of that, but uh, we're going to go 81 on the speed and we are going to go 72 on the acceleration for this build. Um, not going to quite max it out. Like I said, you're not going to be like an on-ball lock or anything like that. This is going to be a little bit more of an offensive heavy type of a build anyway. So, like I said, if you want to move some attributes around, feel free. Like all my builds, these are just templates for you. Um, you know, to start off with, feel free to tweak them the best you feel fit best. But uh, for the strength, like I said, we're going to go all the way up to 74. That's going to get you that bulldozer on bronze. So you'll at least have that badge. It's a very useful badge when driving to the rim and everything. Plus having a 99 dunk and again, like I said, going to be a little bit lax on the defensive side. I just want to have that extra strength just to help you out on both ends of the floor. For the vertical, we're going to go 85 vertical. You're going to need that to get the Hall of Fame posterizer. Plus, I mean, a Prime Vince build. I mean, you remember the dunk contest from back in the day and everything. You definitely got to have a crazy vertical on the Vince build. So we're going 85 on the vertical. And then like I do with all my builds, again, feel free to tweak this if you want, but I'm going 99 Stamina. Stamina is one of those things that's pretty cheap, and I just hate when my player's blinking, whether I'm running around the court trying to get open on offense or playing defense or whatever, so we're going 99 Stamina on this. Now, we're going to go ahead and start up here on the finishing. Like I said, this is going to be one of the crazier builds that I've made on this game, and I know not a lot of players have done this, but we're going to go 99 on the driving dunk. 94 seems to be the sweet spot, you know, 96, maybe 97, but I thought, you know, why not? Let's have a little bit of fun. It's, it's that point of the year. We're going to go ahead and get 99 driving dunk on this build. As you can see over on the right-hand side, some of these badges are going to be insane. You are going to get all of your finishing badges on Hall of Fame. You're going to have Posterizer, Slithery, Precision Dunker, Aerial Wizard, Bunny, Spin Cycle, Two-Step, and Whistle, all on Hall of Fame, which is going to be insane. So, up here on the driving layup, we're going to move that up to an 80. That's going to get us Fearless Finisher on Silver. Again, going to be had 
a very nice badge to have if you're attacking the hoop. Um, you can get thrown out of a dunk animation. Being able to finish around the rims, Silver Fearless Finisher will definitely help you out with that. Along with that 80 driving layup, you will also get Acrobat on Silver, which will be a very nice badge. And then you're going to get nice finishing badges like Scooper, Float Game, and Giant Slayer all on gold as well. And you're going to have Hall of Fame Pro Touch. So this will be a build you're also going to be able to finesse a little bit in that, you know, mid-range. You know me, I love the floaters in NBA 2K24. So with an 80 driving layup, the gold float game, and Hall of Fame Pro Touch, you're going to be able to execute those as well. So I think we're really going to be able to do a lot of really crazy things around the rim. And then just 60 on a close shot. Um, you know, nothing too crazy here because we upgraded the driving layup to 80. It's going to take you up to 60 as a default there. It's just going to help out a little bit when you're down around the hoop. And then lastly on the finishing, we're going to go 45 on the standing dunk. That will get us both the one hand and two hand under basket um, standing dunk animations. It's going to be very helpful. You know, no contact dunks or anything like that, but at least it's going to help you if you get, you know, caught underneath the hoop after catching a pass or, you know, you cut to the rim and you stop or whatever. Having that 45 standing dunk will enable you to get both of those, like I said, the one hand and two hand under basket normal animations. So definitely going to be able to finish around the hoop with this build. It is going to be a lot of fun, I think. Moving down to the shooting, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a little bit of shooting on this build too. Um, you know, Vince probably a little bit more known for the mid range, but I'm going to make this build a little bit maybe more like 2K type friendly. I still want to be able to like spot up in the corner and, and shoot with this build and everything. So we're going to take the three ball up to an 80 on this build. We're going to put the mid range at a 65. And you guys know how broken free throws are in this game, even though like I. You know, like I like to play a lot of rec and everything on this build. We're going to take the free throw up to a 59. That's as many attributes as we had left after filling everything else up. 59 is still going to let you hit in the rec if you know your timing at this point of the game. Um, you know, like I said, if you want to move the, the three ball down you know, to a 79 and the mid range to a 64, put the free throw up higher if you want. But for me, this is what I'm going to do on this build. With that 83 ball, it's going to give you some silver badges, which will be decent. You can see you're going to have blinders, catch and shoot, corner specialist, green machine, space creator, spot finder, and claymore all on silver. We're going to have bronze deadeye and bronze agent threes as well. So nothing too crazy. Um, you know, again, the biggest thing for this build is going to be attacking the hoop. Um, 65 mid range. You know, if you're spotting up, you're not going to be able to do crazy fades or anything like that on this build. But if you're spotting up, you're going to be able to knock down you know, a nice midi, or you can utilize that 80 driving layup and hit some of them floaters in that mid-range too. That kind of compensates for having a little bit lower mid-range if you're utilizing those floaters, because you can get those off pretty easily. Like, like I said, with that Hall of Fame Pro Touch, the gold float game, you know, that's going to kind of supplement your mid-range game a little bit. So pretty decent still on the shooting, considering the driving dunk and everything on this build. Moving down to the playmaking again gonna have to give up a little bit because that 99 is just so expensive in NBA 2k24 we're going to a 70 pass accuracy on this build again you're not going to be a primary ball handler you're not the point guard um, you know you're not gonna be a primary rebounder chucking the ball up the floor trying to you know to start the break or anything like that but 70 pass accuracy on this build will still be enough to get the ball around the floor as you can see you'll still have bronze break starter dimer you know relay passer special delivery so, you know, if you do get a board or whatever, you're going to be able to get it up the floor. You're not always going to have the cleanest of animations or anything, but 70 pass accuracy because I think you can't just go without any passing on your builds. Now, for the ball handle, we're going to go up to an 80 ball handle, and we're going to put our speed with ball up to a 75. 75 speed with ball will able, enable you to get the pro dribble style, the Magic Johnson dribble style, even though it's not as effective as it used to be. And with an 80 ball handle, as you can see, you're going to get a lot of Decent badges, you're going to be able to move a little bit, you know, having that, actually we're going to go 81 on the ball handle, we're going to get that speed booster up to silver on this, so 81 I think we're going to do on the ball handle here. That's going to give us silver unpluckable, ankle breaker, handles for days, gold physical handles, because we have that 74 strength out on the perimeter, you know, you enable that with the uh, silver speed booster, so you're going to be able to move a little bit, and with that the 80 ball hander, you're going to get a lot of very nice dribble animations. You can get the, the D Fox dribble animations. You're going to get some of the new Devin Booker animations on this build. So, definitely going to be able to handle the ball, create a little bit of your shot, and then help get to the rim and utilize that 99 dunk because you have that 81 ball handle. Have some of the nice animations. 
like I said, the pro dribble style with the speed with ball at 75 is going to be very nice. So, you know, we didn't skimp out on the playmaking at all. Moving down to the defense, this is the one area I think, you know, when you put as many of these different attributes in these other categories, especially having that 99 driving dunk, it is so expensive. If you watch right here, if I go down to a 97, you see it takes our overall to 91. By bumping that up to a 99, you go up to a 95 overall. So it's eating up four overalls just by going from a 97 to a 99. Like I said, 99 attributes are very expensive in NBA 2K24. We're going to sacrifice a little bit here, but like I said, it's that point of the year for me. I want to have some fun. So this is what we're going to do on this build here. Down on the defense, I'm going to put a little bit on here just so we're kind of viable. Um, we're going to leave the defense here at a 34. Again, you're not going to be a primary defender, but you play good hands at defense on this build. You know, you have 7-3 wingspan, you have 74 strength. You're going to be able to wall up some opponents and, and get some stops down low. It's not going to be anything too crazy, but we'll be effective. The perimeter defense, we're going to take up to a 75. That is going to get you, you know, some bronze badges to work with on the defensive side of the ball. You can see we have bronze clamps, ankle braces, challenger, fast feet, pick dodger, workhorse, and then the silver off ball pest for helping, you know, cut off some of the backdoor lanes and everything like that. So, you know, still a little viable, nothing too crazy. The steel, we're going to take up to a 60. That's going to get us... The bronze interceptor as you can see over here on the right hand side you know just for helping play in some of those lanes and things like that so you can get some steals you are going to be able to get some you know some eyeball bump steals different things like that with this build but 60 is kind of a sweet spot if you're looking for that minimum to be able to play lanes and everything like that like i said bronze interceptor the block we're going to leave the block at 30 this is probably the one attribute that, that hurts me the most not being able to upgrade you know probably you're not you're not going to have to chase down or anything like that um but Again, you have to give a little to get a little. I still think this build will be a lot of fun. Um, you know, the, the people that I play with, I can get the bumps on my opponent and then pass them off to the big down low, you know, to help cover, get those stops around the rim and everything like that. So 30 block on this build. And then last but not least, we're gonna take the defensive rebound up to a 60, which will give us bronze box out beast and bronze rebound chaser. Again, you have an 85 vertical. So you are going to be able to snag some boards on this. You're six foot eight. Um, like I said, I wanted to put a little bit of defense on this. I can't make one of them builds that just has zero defense on it. That's that's not the way I work, not the way I operate. If you've watched any of my prior build videos, so I had to put a little bit on here just to be viable. But this build is going to be a ton of fun. You know, like I said, primary being that 99 driving dunk. You know, you're going to get some decent layup animations and everything. It's still an 83 ball, so you're going to be effective shooting the basketball as well. 81 ball handles, 75 speed with ball. You're going to be able to move a little bit on this. No know fit, the physicals are pretty solid as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this up here. I'm going to show you guys the shades of, because I know some of you like that. Um, you know, you get some decent shades of. You get the, the rookie sensation right now, quietly having a very good rookie season. Brandon Miller. You know as effective as wendy and chad have been this year he's he's quietly having a very good rookie campaign you get richard jefferson and mikhail bridges and you built a high flyer perfect name for this type of a build being a, a 99 driving dunk type of a build but uh we're gonna go ahead we'll put a vince carter face creation on this that's one i haven't dropped for you guys so i'll make sure i drop that face creation when we get that done as well and then like i said if we get this video to 20 likes I'll go ahead and put some VC in this build. We'll try to get some clips and we'll have a lot of fun with it. All right, so that's really all I got for this video. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Like I said, if we can get this video to 20 likes, I'll go ahead and put some VC on this bad boy. We will upgrade it. We'll try to get some crazy clips on the build, have some fun with it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. We're on that road to 4,000 subscribers. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.